Hey everyone, I need your attention for one minute. This is not one of those ads. This is something that has changed my entire life. If you've been listening to this podcast, you know that this is all about personal development as the foundation for everything good in your life. And this podcast is now sponsored by Growth Day, which is the world's first all-in-one personal development app. I mean, oh my gosh, can you imagine having everything all in one place that you need to create? create the life that you want, now you can. So if you've been struggling with your motivation, your mood, your productivity, or your purpose, you have to check this out. Growth Day helps you consciously change your life and achieve your potential. It has all the self-improvement tools, motivational classes, and life coaching all in one place. So many of us want to improve our lives, but the question is how? Where do we start? What do we use? How do you get unstuck? How do you make self-improvement stick? Well, research shows how. It's when you consistently journal, track your habits, set goals, learn from empowering mentors, and challenge yourself that you'll be happier, healthier, and more successful. But let me ask you something. Where do you actually do all of your personal development work? I have to tell you that over 300,000 people use Growth Day for a reason. It works. It's the world's number one software for self-improvement. Growth Day has an amazing mindset journal that I absolutely love, a habit tracker, and a goal setting system. In fact, I bet if you went to my stories this week, you probably saw me using the journaling app and telling you to do it too, because it's the first time that journaling has ever actually stuck consistently in my life because of this app. And best of all, Growth Day has live inspirational classes every single week from the world's top motivational speakers and life coaches. These are people who have impacted my life in huge ways. These are mentors who I already knew and loved. In fact, this is something that's so huge for me, you guys. I personally teach a class in Growth Day every single month, and it is one of the most fun things that I get to do, and I'd love to see you there. These classes will truly shift your life. There's always something new that you will learn. So join me in 300,000 achievers growing our lives with actual real intention. Visit growthday.com slash Lori for a free trial. Yes, you can try this for free. So go to growthday.com slash Lori and go live your best life. You guys, that's growthday.com forward slash Lori. And I can't wait to see you there. It doesn't mean you're not going to have really, really bad days back to back for a month, six months, a year, or maybe even two years. But it does mean that you are growing. It does mean that you are moving forward. It does mean that you are learning lessons at a really fast pace. Welcome to the Earn Your Happy Podcast. I'm Lori Harder, founder of The Bliss Project, three-time fitness world champion, fitness expert, and cover model turned self-love junkie, lifestyle entrepreneur, and author. Each week, I'll bring you a guest or a thought that will help you bust through your fears, connect to your soul, and get focused and clear so you can elevate your life, business, and relationships. We don't wait until we're ready for someone to tell us we're good enough. We take what we want and we anoint ourselves. Get ready to earn, own, and unapologetically rock your happiness every single day. Are you with me? Here we go. Welcome back to the Earn Your Happy podcast. And it's time for another quickie because there's always time to fit in inspiration. And I really am feeling called to call myself out and to call all of you out who are teetering on the line of who you are right now and who you know you were put on this planet to be. And I just want you to take one second right now just to really visualize who that person is and who that higher self is. What is she doing? What is he doing? Who are they? Are they a speaker? Are they 
a podcaster? Are they a business owner? Are they getting promoted at their job? Are they starting a business? Are they being a better spouse? Are they being a better friend? Are they implementing things to show up as a bigger, better version of themselves? Because if we're not growing, we're regressing. If we're not growing, we're dying. And I want to talk about all the things that it takes to get to that person that you need to be that maybe you are scrolling on Instagram or you're looking at someone else's life and you just think that they're lucky. And for a moment, I just want you to take your freaking power back and stop believing in luck and knowing that it is hard ass freaking work in order to break the barrier of where you are now to where you want to go. And, you know, having a fitness foundation and also coming from a background where I was told I was going to be heavy my entire life and that we had bad genetics and that everything I wanted to do was just a total pipe dream and that I could never transform myself in the way that I wanted, that I knew that it was going to take what I didn't even know existed inside of me yet in order to break that barrier. Like what you think right now is going to change you or break through a barrier or will be enough. Or maybe you're saying, wait, I'm working so hard, but it's not working. I have a massive news flash for you and it's going to free you that it will work when you work even harder. And while the message isn't always about, you know, work harder, work harder, work harder, and it's work smarter, it's a combination of both. There's the full throttle times, and you guys know that I talk about this, that you're going to have to do a lot more to break through the barrier, or it's doing what you're doing, but just for longer. So maybe you're already working hard, but you're not, you haven't worked long enough. So I actually talk about this in my TED Talk. There's a few ways to break through. There's a few ways to get uh, massive results. It just depends on which route you're going to take. So you can be really consistent and work hard and work harder for a longer period of time. And you eventually are going to get results because you're consistent and you're changing the person that you are right now. Or you can up the intensity, work harder and smarter for a consistent amount of time. But if you're working harder, you might find that you're getting results a little bit faster. And when I say working harder, do you know what I really mean? I mean failing faster. So some of the things, I talk about this all the time, I did a post about it. Some of the things that maybe you're looking at someone that you think is lucky is that they are willing to not be liked. They're willing to do it scared. They're willing to fail, to be wrong, to do what others won't. They're willing to get criticized. They're willing to get nasty messages in their DMs. They're willing to get those comments. They're willing to be challenged. They're willing to be a beginner, to contradict themselves, to satisfy or to sacrifice gratification and comforts. They're willing to let go of people. They're willing to let go of their past identity. They're willing to pivot into something completely different than people would ever expect of them and get judged for it. They're willing to invest. They're willing to make massive risks, to lose money, to feel uncertain every damn day, to look stupid, to do anything to create the support that they need because maybe they don't have it in their life. Maybe their partner does not support them. Maybe their parents don't support them. Maybe their family does not support them. But they are willing to go and create that support for themselves. But first and foremost, and most of all, to support themselves first and believe in themselves first. And when they lose that belief, to go somewhere and invest in a person that believes in them. They're willing to keep moving and they're willing to love themselves even when other people don't. And this doesn't mean that you're not going to cry. This doesn't mean that you're not going to fall flat on your face and that you might really question if you're cut out for this. It doesn't mean you're not going to have really, really bad days back to back for a month, six months, a year, or maybe even two years. But it does mean that you are growing. It does mean that you are moving forward. It does mean that you are learning lessons at a really fast pace, especially if you have to learn some public lessons, or maybe you feel like you've had some online lessons. Maybe you've said something that 
you know, wasn't right or you didn't mean to say or that, you know, you learned later wasn't totally the accurate decision and people criticized you for for it or judged you for it, whatever that looks like. If you're learning uh, lessons in public, it probably means that you are on the fast track because you're going to have to dig really deep to find and create a safe space for yourself to have people to love you back into a state where you can go back out there again. It's about making your comeback rate faster. And I just want you to notice if you are on the edge, because if you don't just jump and you're not willing to risk it all, you're never going to know what you're made of ever. So I want you to sit with that. Are you willing to just leap and know that it's going to suck for a little while? It's going to be hard. You're going to have days where you feel so freaking frustrated that you feel like throwing a temper tantrum in front of everyone where you just feel like complete chaos in your head and like you don't know how your crazy ass hot mess of a self is going to even be able to somehow someday feel organized, put together and like you actually accomplish something. You're going to feel like that book you want to write, that podcast you want. You're going to feel like you can't even see the light at the end of the tunnel but you're just going to have to take the next best step. And sometimes the next best step is stepping away and crying, getting some freaking sleep, eating better, and then waking up the next day and doing it all again and trying to figure it out and asking for help. You guys, you have to ask for help. You have to get a coach or join a group or read a book or read or listen to podcasts. Like You can't do this without help. So if you keep on going, I don't know what to do next... You are in love with sabotaging yourself. You're addicted. Ask for help. Invest. Put it on... I don't even care. Put it on your credit card. Do something small. Don't... Obviously, don't do anything crazy. But I got to be honest. The things that really moved the needle for me were some of the craziest things I've ever done. So I'm speaking to the person who needs a kick in the ass right now. I'm not talking to the person who knows themselves and is just going to spend more money and not follow through. I'm not talking to you. It's time to turn off the podcast if you know that's you because you're not ready to decide and make a decision to actually follow through and let your higher self come through. Eventually, hopefully, I pray that you come around, but I'm talking to the person who's like, how do I hold myself accountable? I'm ready. I can't live this way another day. I can't wake up to another Monday where I don't like who I am because I'm not showing up as my highest self. I am talking to you because I see you. I feel you. I literally know who you are. I get you. I get the frustration. I get that you know you were put here to be huge. I get that you see this vision of just maybe helping the masses. I get that your soul is so on fire. I get that you are so special and so magical and you have so much to offer and people can't see it yet, but you know it and you feel it. But girl, you got to show up for you before anybody else can see it. The gift that you see of that vision is what needs to pull you through because no one else is going to believe in you but you. God gave you the gift to see that vision. No one else can see it. You better have some freaking faith in yourself and some freaking faith in what created you. And you got to let that pull you through because if you can see it, it was made for you. Make a damn decision and do something. Put it on your calendar. Don't think that just sitting and thinking about it or wishing for it or crying about it. Nobody's coming for you. Nobody's coming for you. This is going to be the rest of your life if you don't take massive action. I freaking love you and I need you to show up for yourself. I freaking love you and I need you to show up for yourself. So you guys, take some action. Like, You cannot not get to where you want to go without talking to yourself in the most loving way and understanding that, yeah, you haven't taken action that you've wanted to up until this point and that's okay and it's perfect timing. But right now is the time. Like it's time. The procrastinating has all been for a purpose. It's all giving you the lessons that you've needed. You're going to have so much understanding for the woman or the person that you're going to help in the future. But now you've understood that 
all of that sitting and thinking and feeling bad and trying to blame for your past or wishing that you had different circumstances or getting stuck in that traumatic experience that is just not serving your life and that it was all for a purpose and that you love yourself enough to show up for a small promise tomorrow of showing up for something that scares you or an appointment or a connection or talking to someone. And that these little acts of faith of showing up when you don't want to, because I'm going to tell you right now, half the stuff that's in my calendar every day, I don't want to do. And then I'm so happy that I did it. Because even if you're living in your dreams, it's still having to show up for yourself every day and stretch yourself because your dreams will stretch you more than you will ever imagine. And you will learn that life is all about experience and expansion and connection and tons of love, tons of pain. And it's all so epic and awesome and I wouldn't have it any other way. So I'm I'm just loving so much on you right now. And I really, really pray that this just moves you into a bit more action and that I can be that voice of somebody who's just saying, I'm right there with you. I get it. I see you. I'm so sorry if you are struggling, but that is the journey. And I'm so glad that you're struggling because it means that you are growing and you are becoming so strong and you're going to be able to handle so much. And it's going to blow your... You're going to blow your own mind. You're going to blow your own mind. It's going to be like more... You're going to be more than you've ever expected. And you're going to inspire so many people to be more than they have ever expected out of this life. It is so magical, you guys. If you can just know that the journey there is wild, is hard, is beautiful, is unfathomable. It feels like it's so dark sometimes and you don't feel like you're going to get there. And then you just keep going one foot in front of the other. I'm so proud of you guys. I'm so grateful for you. And I would love for you to just share where you're at, where you're at. So I would love if you would um, share the podcast, maybe with a friend or on stories and let me know if you've taken a step of action. So just put on your post what action you are taking from this podcast and share it with a friend. Maybe tag a friend in that same post that you really want to bring with you, that you want for her or him to see his highest potential and to take action with you and know what the journey looks like. So I'm so grateful for you. And until next time, earn your happy. Bye everyone. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me on the Earn Your Happy podcast. I am so glad that you stopped by. If you could take one second to share this episode with someone you think would love it, that would be absolutely amazing and we would be forever grateful. Also, please leave us a review if you feel so moved by going to iTunes and leaving us an honest thought and honest comment. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you want to hear more of. It would really help us out on our journey to helping thousands and thousands of people. Until then, don't forget to earn your happy. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye. Want to know a huge secret to my success? Okay, not only my success, but just about every single person that I have interviewed on this podcast who is successful has this in common. You guys, they love to journal. They capture their life lessons and what they're grateful for. But a lot of people don't keep this up consistently. And most people do know that the research shows that journaling deepens your gratitude and increases self-awareness. But did you also know that journaling decreases stress and helps you achieve your goals faster? In fact, journaling is a huge differentiator between average performers at work and high performing people. It leads to longer term clarity, confidence, and success. So why don't more people journal? Why didn't I journal consistently? Honestly, they don't like staring at a blank page. It's hard to carry a book around with you or a notepad, and they just don't even know what to write about, or they just forget. 
That's why I know that you're going to love Growth Day. It's the world's number one system for self-improvement, and it's like all-in-one personal development in an app. And it has an awesome digital journal, and people love it. Growth Day's digital journal has hundreds of research-backed writing prompts for self-reflection, positive mindset, confidence building, and success. I use them all the time, and it makes me think in ways that I typically don't, and it makes me ask myself better questions, which we all know gets better results in our life. It even has prompts that help you develop a daily, weekly, or monthly habit of reflecting on your life and identifying areas to grow. So it's a perfect time of year to start journaling, you guys. When you sign up at Growth Day, you also get systems for habit tracking, goal setting, and scoring, and improving every area of your life. Best of all, I get to teach there too, you guys. I'm so excited. I hope that I get to see you. I teach live in Growth Day every single month with a new topic just for you. So join me there. Start your free trial at growthdate.com slash Lori. Hey, do you know what the big secret is this year? And it shouldn't be a secret because this should be your biggest focus. It is building your community. I am always working on building and nurturing my community. And everyone is talking about the power of community. Without an online community, you just cannot grow organically or create a real movement, which is what I know that we're all after. And you can build trust or monetize your audience. When you get community right, not only does your audience grow faster, but so do your sales. But where's everybody going to be managing their communities these days? And a lot of online entrepreneurs and thought leaders are turning to Circle.so. Circle is an all-in-one community platform. It lets you host content and create discussions, live streams, group chats, and memberships all under your own brand. And what's so cool about Circle.so is that you don't even need a website or Facebook group. Instead, Circle lets you build your own community site where you can host content and manage your members. You can even create locked and unlocked content spaces, groups, and classes. How freaking cool is that? You can put your content behind a paywall too, and you can charge different amounts of money for different spaces on your community site. Circle.so is famously easy to use, and it has a free 14-day trial for you, so you can go check it out, see if you like it, see if you love all the options. Just go to circle.so. Go check it out right now, you guys. Imagine being able to manage your community, start group chats and live classes, and accept payments all in one place. Kind of mind-blowing since this is usually spread all over the place. You have to log into so many different things. If this is the year to capture, organize, and monetize your community, head over to circle.so. You can get a free trial and start building your online community right now. Just go to circle.so. You guys, you get the 14 day free trial. So just go and see if it's for you. It's going to streamline everything and make your life so much easier. It's so freaking cool. Hey, I know if you're listening to this podcast that you have big dreams and big goals. And one of the things that can really stop you is struggling with your marketing. Trust me, I have been there. Are you using 10 different systems just to build your online business? Then I want you to try Kajabi. Kajabi helps you build your web pages, set up funnels, and sell your courses, content, coaching, or communities. You've been hearing me talk a lot about funnels on this podcast and the importance of your email list. You can get a free trial at kajabi.com. That's K-A-J-A-B-I.com. I've talked about Kajabi before, but here's something that's super cool and new. They just rolled out an AI assistant for creating your online course curriculum. And this means you just type in a topic that you wanna create on a course or webinar and bam, it just generates a sample outline for you. It takes a ton of the hard work away. Of course, you're gonna customize it to be your own, but this really helps you get over the struggle of how in the world to start which is where most people stop. If you're like me, starting is always the hardest part and that's what makes Kajabi so popular. They've made it easier for creators to build web pages, build courses, build coaching programs, build membership sites, build checkout pages, and build email funnels. So if you're struggling with any of those, you gotta go check it out. Go to kajabi.com 
kajabi.com. Kajabi was really the first all-in-one system and is trusted by over 100,000 creators. I think that's good enough for me. Also as influencers and marketers who use this. And now their smart AI platform makes it easy to take what you know and turn it into an online course and business. Go start building with a free trial at kajabi.com. That's K-A-J-A-B-I.com.